Hello, fellow activists. This is John Ellis, and if you don't know who I am, that's fine. It's more about what I do and who I work for that matters, and you'll see why later on. I will just start off by saying that this is a call for volunteers for the most part. I'm going to explain why I need volunteers and what we're doing and what kind of project that this is and how cool it is, but in the end, I just need volunteers. So if you've got some time on your hands and you want to help, uh, I need all sorts of volunteers for all sorts of reasons. Info at UphillMedia.org. This is Cork FM, The Big Picture Part 2. Cork FM is a nonprofit radio station that Uphill Media recently acquired, and it operates out of Corvallis, Oregon. And it is a lot more powerful than the small 10-mile radius that it has around the town of Corvallis because it has an, an FCC license to broadcast anything at once, uncensored, and distribute that content across other FCC licensed radio stations and networks. And that is, that is really why we acquire the license. Um, you know, we want to grow a great community radio station, and, and of course that's important, but I wanted a place that I could create civics content and distribute it. And more importantly, I wanted a place where we could distribute this content to rural Americans because rural Americans are the ones that are largely left out of the conversation when it comes to governance. Rural Americans are also receiving a lot of right-wing and corporate narrative. Uh, and so that's what we're going to talk about, building the fifth estate and where Cork FM fits into that picture because it is a small piece, though important piece, in a lot bigger thing that's happening right now. And just to make sure we're all on the same page, we know that the fourth estate or fourth power refers to the press and news media, both in explicit capacity of advocacy and implicit ability to frame political issues. All right, that's an important thing to note the power of the fourth estate. The problem that we have with the current fourth estate is that it's owned by about six corporations. News stories are told in favor of corporate interest. Information harmful to corporations is censored and information valuable to the people is censored. Right? Exxon New is a beautiful example. To add to the problem, the pathways to news for American voters are different, and it differs by age, and it differs by geography. Younger generations are online. And we see that in this Pew Research study that was done in 2016. Not much has changed. COVID may have changed how many people are using Zoom, but it didn't change where Americans get their news and what news they trust. So older generations, older Americans favor television heavily and they trust what they see on TV. And we know that they're getting a corporate narrative. It doesn't matter if you're watching Fox News or NPR or PBS or CBS. They're all broadcasting a news in favor of corporations. Exxon isn't the problem, it's you. You're using too many straws. Recycle more. Right? This is really corporate narrative. We know this. Now, radio holds an interesting place because people that like listening to the news prefer to listen to the news on radio. And most people in rural areas are listening to radio because they don't have good internet connections. And I know this because I work for an ISP that has been tasked with building out internet connectivity in rural California because they don't have it. But the point of this pathway to news slide is to show you that we will never win the narrative. We will never control the narrative against corporate media without having access to people's homes through their televisions. All right? Online independent media does not reach the voter base that corporate media reaches, and corporate media knows this, and that's why they don't really care what happens on the internet. The internet has been discredited as a news source. It has been discredited as having anything to do with the actual facts. It is basically played as a garbage bin of activity for ratings. That is what corporate news does. 
So you can have all of the progressive news channels you want running all over the internet. They will never affect change in the narrative against traditional television. Never. So what do we do about that? Well, we have to build a fifth estate. Right? And that is actually happening. We are building a new media alliance that will reach citizens through both traditional TV and radio and digital mediums. This entity will challenge corporate narrative and will work to inform the electorate more honestly. This is really happening. I'm not making this up. All right. And I'm not talking about this fifth estate, which was a movie in 2013, which oddly enough was about WikiLeaks. Right? Now, WikiLeaks could have been a fifth estate. The internet could have been a fifth estate, but it has been completely discredited by mainstream media and is instead thought of as the networked fourth estate. And it is as useless in affecting narrative as, you know, anything else we do online. WikiLeaks has been completely hobbled as an agency of trust by mainstream media, and that is by design. So how are we building this fifth estate? Who's building this? Well, we're going to watch this little clip of Alexander Hagen, the CEO of Etheric Networks, one of the companies I work for. Etheric just won a boatload of money in the Rural Digital Opportunity Fund, which was a federal fund, a federal auction, and we want a lot of money to build out infrastructure in rural California. And I want you to listen to what Alexander Hagen has to say about that in an, a, a video he sent to the current customer base. Our goal is to essentially create a fifth estate through the wireless ISPs to have another force uh, that is uh, there for people in getting internet and communications. So you hear Alex say, we're going to build a fifth estate. That's when I tell you that that's actually happening. That's when I say that's actually happening. Right? That went out to all of our customers. And he's not making that up. He is a Bernie delegate, a 2016 Bernie's delegate. He is a, a hardcore leftist. And he believes that we need to create a fifth estate, um, a media entity that challenges corporate narrative. So what does this look like? What does this fifth estate look like? Well, here's the pieces. Etheric Networks is the entity that uh, uh, has been given this Ardoff funding. And here's here. Just this is the the federal. Uh, the, this is the document that shows what's going on here and the different entities that have been given funds, All right? So that's to reach 64,000 homes. And Etheric Networks already serves the Bay Area. We're in the San Francisco Bay Area, and that is very important strategically. And so this is a, a very different district to be reaching out to. And the rural areas around the San Francisco Bay are hills uh, uh, because of the coastal areas. So we have a great opportunity here to reach tech billionaires, to reach Silicon Valley, and to reach the workforce that serves those individuals. Etheric Networks is the company that will, has created Etheric Communications, a wholly owned subsidiary that will be dealing with the WISP Alliance Network. This is an alliance that is being formed right now between Etheric Communications and many other WISPs and other private uh, ISPs. There's, there's a bunch of private fiber that runs all throughout California and other places, and, and nobody's ever connected all of these independent entities. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to form an alliance of independent internet service providers. And that alliance will become a content provider with WISP Alliance Media, and that content will initially just serve our customer base, but it will eventually become a content producer. This is no different than what cable companies did, all right? They came into the homes, they offered alternative media, and then they, com they, they went into competition directly with the existing three channels that we had on our televisions. We have an opportunity to do the same in a very strategically valuable area 
And it doesn't have to stop there. We can grow this alliance across the entire United States and compete directly with traditional television and traditional cable. I've already purchased these domains, wispaliancenetwork.com, wispaliancemedia.com, fifthestate.io. I own those already, as do I do uphillmedia.org and corkfm.com. Those are all, that's real. We're building that stuff. Now, the Alliance Media uh, Group, is that's, we're a year out on that. That's a year away in, in, in even happening because we have so much other work to do with Ardoff, with the Alliance Network to begin with. However, there are pieces that can be done now, and that's where Cork comes in. All right? Cork is where we start. It's the civics factory. So here are the big pieces. Theoric Networks forms the Alliance Network and begins art off build out that's in process. Alliance Media is also formed. The Wisp Alliance Media will produce content primarily for TV, both as a private customer feed and in partnership with local community access television. This is super huge and super important. Right now, Comcast has contracts with most communities to deliver their community access television. This is uh, city council broadcasts and, and town halls and other uh, public meetings that are broadcast. And that is narrow cast, actually. That is, that is delivered uh, uh, in, in just to your little silo, your community. You don't get to see other towns' uh, community meetings or other towns' political events. You only get to see yours, and that's by design. Comcast doesn't want everybody to see everybody else's civics. Right? They lock it down. We can be the new provider. Comcast doesn't even want to be in these contracts. They fight these contracts. And so we could be the new provider. We will be the new provider for a lot of these areas and towns because Comcast can't reach them. That's the whole reason that we are here is that fixed wireless communications are, are the bridge. They reach the rural areas that fiber and cable cannot. And so we must become the same content provider that they don't have. We must be the PBS that we lost and provide civics to these communities. So these pieces all fit together. And there's, there's, Wisp, there's a, a fifthestate.io, which is a website that will just produce content that shows the difference between corporate narrative and straight news. Where is, what, where, what is the story being weaved between the lines and within the headline here? And how do we recognize corporate narrative from just the facts within the story? That is something we need to hit on. And that is a way that we will target corporate narrative is by highlighting the differences between the way we tell the news and the way they tell the news. Uphill Media and Cork are the beginnings of that production. And Cork, with an FCC license, can start packaging civics content, creating programs that are designed to be produced and, uh, and, and syndicated across other radio stations. And when we are ready, we will be producing live stream events. Uphill Media already does live stream events. We just haven't done them through etheric networks or through the etheric customer base through this WISP Alliance Media. But that will come down the road. So... There's all sorts of stuff to do here, but I'm the one, and we come back to what, me, right? So I work for both Etheric Networks and Uphill Media, and I am tasked with putting all of this together, with building out WISP Alliance Media. And so I need your help. This is an amazing opportunity that we have. And there's so many other pieces to, the connect, to this that... I would like to share with you, but I think it's better if I just ask you to uh, contact me, john at uphillmedia.org, directly. And, uh, you know, I need all sorts of volunteers for all sorts of reasons. Anybody who's interested in helping, there are so many different things to do. It's an amazing opportunity that we have. Yes, it's big, it's epic, but it's happening. This isn't just me dreaming stuff up. This is stuff that's already in motion. And the amount of effect that we can have uh, is it depends on just how much we get going, how fast we can move this along. And right now, I'm at a bottleneck because I'm just me. And I've got a great crew 
that's working on the community aspect of Cork locally, but we need more people to be able to build out content, to develop more content for Cork specifically that is community oriented, and then to work on bigger picture things. So thank you for coming to my TED talk about building the, the fifth estate. And uh, please get in touch if you want to help. John at uphillmedia.org. Thank you.